launching new faith communities has created a ripple of new life in our conference, just as the Fruitful Congregation journey has been used by God to create a ripple of revitalization. And yet there is so much more to be done. We're celebrating that we're back in the new church start business. We'd kind of gotten out of the business for a while. In fact, way back in the 60s, at the merger of the Methodist and EUB Church, we were on a moratorium for a while saying, we've got so many churches now with merger, we don't know what to do with them all. And we're at this hinge point in history in the life of the church where, where God is, is, is doing a new thing. God's going to do a new thing. Well, our, our church development staff helps us to identify where are the so-called hot spots where we have population growth. But the truth is there's unchurched people in every community in Indiana, even very small communities. There's always people there who are not part of any congregation and starting new services and new churches is a great way to reach them. Yeah, our dream is to start 100 new worship service opportunities in the next year. Uh, a few of those might become actually a whole new church. Some of them might just be a second site of a church or a, a second service in an existing church. The Indiana Conference has witnessed the launch of approximately 25 new faith communities over the last 15 years. The location of these faith communities can be seen plotted as yellow dots on this map. Each new faith community brings vitality and spiritual momentum to the communities where they are launched. While we celebrate this momentum, the pressing need in our conference is for a planting movement. The church development team believes that God is calling our conference to embrace a bold vision of launching 30 new faith communities in the Indiana Conference by the year 2020. Many of the locations where we believe God is calling us to launch new faith communities can be seen plotted as green dots on this map. We are not limited by location, but compelled by the God who promised to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all we ask or think. I think what's, what's so important is, is to realize that uh, it's not about getting people into the church. I mean, that's not our first focus. It's getting the folks in the church out into the world. I think the nice thing about it, it's almost like scattering seed. Uh, the parable of the sower, Jesus tells, some seed may not do much, some may not succeed, but others may be a, an abundant harvest, and we never know. So I think it's a way to try to be free and spirit-led as a conference and to say, we're going to launch 100 new points of light and we'll let God determine the ultimate results. We need to correct ourselves and be encouraged to once again do what is really the nature of the witnessing church, which is to go and witness the message of Jesus. <laughs> it's the Great Commission. The vision to launch 30 new faith communities will require a rich partnership with our existing congregations to coordinate leadership as well as provide prayer and a financial foundation. To support this vision, the church development team is pleased to announce the Exceed Advance Special. The goals of Exceed are to exceed normal church giving to launch 30 new faith communities by 2020. Grow conference funding for new churches by $1.5 million. Raise an average of $300,000 per quarter over five quarters. Invite 500 partners who will pledge participation at some level during the first quarter. To learn about the seven ways to give to Exceed, visit us online at inumc.org slash exceed.